What is up, guys? Let's try this again. We are here for our week five battle for the GBA D League against the Rosen Raiden Rosa Radenborg, excuse me, uh, coached by Dan Donaghy, also known as Jaden Yuki. And uh, we have DC'd a couple of times now, and it's starting to get a little bit annoying. Uh, but the team you see on the right is actually the team that he's bringing for me. Uh, we already know each other's teams right now, so. Uh, we're gonna try to get into this one last time, and I might just end up post comming it if this doesn't work. So, you guys will never hear this anyway, so it doesn't matter, but, um, or might never hear this, but let's see. Alright, so, I have thought this out, and I think that my best lead against the team that he is bringing against me is gonna be Mega Blastoise. Uh, it does well against the Frostlass, it does well against the Absol, the Darmanitan, even the Suicune, and potentially the Magirna, depending on what set it is. The only thing I don't want to see him lead with is Roserade, but because I can lead Infernape, I don't, excuse me, I don't think he would lead with Roserade and give me a free U-turn off. So, we're going to lead off with Mega Blastoise. Might end up biting me in the butt, we'll see. But uh, it's the play that I do have to make. We do have our Cassid Berry, uh, Metagross, as you guys may or may not have seen in the Team Builder. Uh, make sure to check that out. It's, the, it's linked in the description as well as being the last video on this channel. So, uh, let's confirm. We are ready to lead off with Mega Blastoise. Dan is ready. Here we go. Game time. Week 5. Can we remain undefeated, guys? Or is this going to be our first loss? This is a horrible, horrible matchup for me. Like, Dan literally has, like, a culmination of all the mods that annoy my team. Luckily, hopefully, we only have to face this thing once. Um, I'm praying for Dan to, to do well this season, but I don't want to play this, this team again. Let's see what he leads with. Bubble Man. Okay, so that is going to be the Suicune. So I think I'm just going to... I want to say I'm going to Dark Pulse turn 1. Because while I could Toxic, the Roserade can very easily come in on me, and I don't want that. So I think Dark Pulse is logically my best play. Because if his Suicune gets Toxic, it's screwed. It's done for the rest of the game. So, let's see Blastoise, Gamagori. Whoops. Blastoise, Gamagori. Come on. Uh, I have a Twitch in my eye now. <laughs> Get out. Alright, versus uh, Suicune. Default sets. Uh, Dark Pulse should be doing 25 to 30 to even a little bit of Spadef investment. So, yeah, we're going to Mega Evolve and go for the Dark Pulse right now. So let's let's do it. As uh, we are going to get it off. He does stay in with his Suicune, which is really, really surprising because I could have toxic this thing. Now, it could be really speedy Suicune. That is a possibility. But we'll find out here. We are faster unless he went for Roar. And uh, we do do... Okay, I need to see how much damage that is. He goes for the Calm Mind. He could be Rest. That's fine. So he gets off the Calm Mind. And uh, we're going to see exactly how much he is at before the leftovers go off. So he took 24, so he does have some Spadef investment. That's what that means. But he's also slightly slower. So I'm just going to go for a Toxic on this turn. And uh, then I might have to go straight into my Thunderous, even though I need it for the Rain. I think I might have to go into it, because if he gets off a rest and he has plus two Calm Minds up, that's not good. <laughs> so, yeah. Gotta deal with that as soon as possible. We might try to flinch him with some Dark Pulses first to see what happens, but uh, I'm gonna try to go for a Toxic right here. We are faster than the Suicune, so that's good. Um, so we know that it's not running too much speed investment. We we are at 111. I go for the Toxic, let's see what he does. He's probably gonna Calm Mind again, I would assume. And uh, then I might have to risk my Infernape and bring it straight in on this thing. He just goes straight for Scald, okay. That's fine. As uh, we're going to take a little bit from that. Uh, 154 out of 185. And he does get the burn. It's not a big deal. Um, 154 out of 185. That did 8... What? What? <laughs> 154 out of 185. Okay, so that's what? 8%, I guess? Uh, there's no way, right? Oh, no, wait, that's that's inverse. Okay, so he did 17 to me. Sorry. I'm all over the place. Uh, plus one Suicune with Scald with no investment. That would be a max roll, roughly. So I believe that's about what it is. Now, I could Dark Pulse, but we know that Dark Pulse isn't doing too much. I know that he has some Spadef investment, though. I know that he does because my Dark Pulse did 24 to him. So knowing that, that means he doesn't have as much defense. So let's say he's um, Calm with 160 in defense. I want to see how much Infernape can do to him. So Infernape, Ace, with the Choice Banded Close Combat, can do 49 to 58. We know we saw leftovers on this thing, so I'm going to write that down. Uh, Suicune is leftovers. Uh, Calm Mind 
Leftovers, Calm Mind, and uh, Scald. So we know those three things. So I know that Thunderous can take a plus one Scald. I don't think that uh, Infernape can, it cannot. So I think I have to go into Thunderous here. Uh, Enaru takes 57 max. So we'll switch out into our Thunderous because Blastoise is still very useful this game. And uh, he is now Toxic. So I would assume that he would want to go for the rest if he has it. So we're going to find out right here. And uh, if he does, I should be able to 2 hit KO him through his plus one, right? Still? Uh, no, it's more like a 3 hit KO. He goes for another Calm Mind. Uh, can he knock me out with plus two? No investment. 75% max. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, and he doesn't have a Rock Setter this game. He has zero Rock Setters. He only has Spikes. I have to keep that in mind. This is going to take a good chunk. How much am I doing to him at plus two? I'm doing 28 to 34. All right. So I think he's rest. Question is, do I want to risk my Infernape right now? And you turn out here into it on his rest that I'm almost sure he's going for because he wouldn't risk me critting him with Thunderbolt. This thing is always the biggest issue to me. It's always the Suicune. I know the Pillow Swine breaks its sub. That's also something to keep in mind. I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn because I doubt that he would re uh, that he would uh, fire off a Scald on this turn in front of a Thunderous. So we're going to get off some U-turn damage. He probably goes for rest here. How much did that U-turn do? I didn't even see. I was staring at my DS screen. Damn. Um, so yeah, I think we have to go directly into Ace. Now he can Scald, obviously, and that's going to be very, very bad for me. And I might just lose right there. But, uh... Ah! Damn. Okay. I have to think. And then he has a 33% chance to get Scald on the Sleep Talk, right? So yeah, we'll go into Ace. Switch it in. Please don't Scald, then. Please rest. Please be a smart player. And he Scalds. Okay. Down goes Infernape. So that's bad. That's very, very bad. Because I don't have Taunt on anything. Oh, why is this matchup so tough for me? Where's Infernape? Gone. And he's still over 50%. This is crazy. How much does uh, Metagross do to this thing? With Thunder Punch. <sighs> 35 to 42 on like non- uh, not too many, not too much physical defense, essentially. <sighs> That's tough. All right, we're gonna go back into Enaru, and we're gonna fire off a Thunderbolt and hope we crit. <laughs> That's all I can do, because I know I'm not gonna kill this thing with Thunderous' Thunderbolt, because I'm not a boosting item. I'm gonna do like 28 to 34. So let's go for it. Let's pray. We go for the Thunderbolt. Is he going to attack me on this turn? Does he not have rest or something? Is that what it is? He does have rest. Yeah. That's what I thought. I can't believe he went for Scald that turn. I would have 2 it KO'd him. Potentially. With the poison damage. That was ballsy. Wow. So his last move is Sleep Talk for sure. Yep. Suicune just beats me. I have to crit him. And, uh, I'm gonna be, s he's gonna be sad if I do, but, like, that's literally my only play. I'm gonna get off a good amount of damage right there. He stays asleep. I'm gonna get off about 30% with that one. Sleep talk, does he get the scald, or does he get the calm mind? He gets the rest. Okay, so this is a free turn for me. <sighs> but I don't three-hit KO this. I need a crit somewhere. A crit would kill him. Easily. Because that's, like, plus one to zero, right? Yeah, I would do 84%. So I have to keep going for it. Um, if I had Volt Switch over U-Turn, maybe. Maybe I might have been able to, to take him out. As that's going to do another decent chunk, but it's not enough. Sleep Talk. If he gets Calm Mind, I think it's pretty much over. He gets Calm Mind. Ugh. Yeah, I need to crit him right now. Because I think his plus three Scald kills me. Well, it does 94 max. If he gets a burn with a max roll, I'm dead. That sucks. This really sucks. I gotta keep going for Thunderbolt. I wish I had Thunder right about now, because I have Rain Dance. 
I mean, I'd be boosting his scalds, but... Come on, crit! Nope. No crits. Woke up. Rest. Yeah. He's at plus three now. He can do this forever. Until I crit him. What would be really funny is if I crit him, and then he crits me on the same turn so that I can't get the two at KO. <laughs> this sucks. Gotta keep going for T-Bolt. I already lost my Infernape, one of my biggest offensive checks to his team. And now I'm doing like 20% to this Suicune. The second he gets a Scald, it's basically game over. Sleep talk. And he gets Scald. He won't kill me. He shouldn't. Does he get the burn? Yeah. Well, there goes my game plan. Um... I have to check how much Quillfish is going to do to this thing. <sighs> Poison Jab. At plus two. 45 to 54. If he burns me again, I'm done. But I have to try. I don't have my Rain Setter anymore, so my sweeping potential is all gone. I gotta get Thunderous off the layout. I think this might just be a 6-0, guys. If he gets another Scald, that's it. Actually, I can debond him on the turn that he kills me and finally get rid of this thing. That's what I should have done. I just should have just abandoned Quillfish. But I'm going to go for Swords Dance here. We should be faster, obviously. And then uh, Poison Jump has a chance to 2 hit KO. A very good chance. Does like 45 to 54 to a similar spread to his. So he's going to get the... I don't think he went for Sleep Talk on that turn. That's interesting. I wonder why. Um, I'm just gonna go for the P-Jab. Screw it. That's weird. Why did he do that? That's very strange. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm kind of in shock right now. Let's get off the P-Jab damage. Do not burn me. Please. Yeah, that's... Okay, now I get the crit. He wakes up, goes for Scald. I can kill him regardless of if he burns me or not. Does he burn me? No. Do I kill with Waterfall? 22 to 27 to this kind of spread. Well, how much did I do with a P-Jab crit? Um, that's about right. Yeah. But I'm going to play it safe. I'm just going to Poison Jab. Like, he can go into his Magirna if he wants, I don't care. <laughs> I'll knock it out after. Does Absol kill me with a knockoff? Because it's a base 65 against me, right? He's actually going to withdraw. <laughs> wow, Dan. Ice Edge, that is the, uh, the Frost Lass. Is it, uh... Is it Focus Sash? No, but it lives that easily. Um, I'm looking at Pilliswine, and I'm looking at his team right now, and there's potentially a way that I can bring this back. Right about now, I wish I would have kept Agility on Metagross over Zen Headbutt, but uh, I'm going to go for a Waterfall here. Goes for a Shadow Ball. This is going to knock me out. Easily. Okay. So down goes our Quillfish. Baku goes dead. I can bullet punch and kill this. That allows in his Darmanitan. Easily. We'll go into Toshiro. Um, his Suicune is still too healthy to die to rocks. It's above 20. Would it die to Ice Shard after? Swine versus Suicune default Ice Shard uh, to not bold but calm 160 Ice Shard no 5.7 to 6.7 it's rid ridiculously low um, his entire team is grounded he's about to hit me with a really strong shadow ball um, I 
Uh, I think I have to abandon rocks and just go for Earthquake. Is he gonna go for another Shadow Ball? Yep. Easily. Right there. That's gonna do quite a bit of damage, actually. About what, up 25%. Because we are gonna knock out the, uh, the Frost Loss this turn, though. So we do get a kill. He gets Cursed Body, so he can easily go into Darmanitan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not going my way, guys. <laughs> Where is his Frost Lass? There it is. Alright, so we killed one Mon. We killed one Mon, guys. Yeah, if I had agility right now, I would actually have a shot. But uh, because I don't have agility, I don't think I can win this game. Because his Darm's too fast. Uh, he probably goes Rose to revenge me, right? That would make sense. He can go Suicune too if he wants to. I guess he would rest then. Um, in which case, I would probably just switch directly into my Metagross and start firing off Thunder Punches and hope that he gets bad Sleep Talk rolls. That's all I can do. I knew this game was going to be fast. I just didn't know how fast. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a quick Suicune sweep. That thing is ridiculous. I hate it. <sighs> Bubble Man. That is Suicune. Okay, okay, I cannot waste time with getting up rocks. So I think I have to go directly into Metagross or just Earthquake. Either one really works. Uh, how much is he at? Oh, he's at 16. Hold on a second. So I could probably go into Blastoise, but I'm burned. So what does that accomplish? That just invites in Roserade at that point. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm really, I'm stumped. I've got nothing left in my, in my reservoir. This is our first loss for sure. That's, that's guaranteed. I'm going to EQ because he's probably just, okay, I'm disabled, right? <laughs> I can't even hit him with an EQ. Wow. Um, yeah, I have to switch into, to Blastoise. It's my only play because I can't stand. I can't even hit him. <laughs> it, it doesn't accomplish anything. I'm gonna try to get one or two more kills if I can, but this game is pretty much over. He does go for the Scald. That's fine. I almost want to go for the Scald of my own, predicting the Magirna, but I think just Dark Pulsing at this point is my best play. He's uh, at about 23, so I should be able to kill him with a Dark Pulse, because I did 24 before, so as long as I don't get an absolute low roll, I should be fine to kill him. So we'll try to knock out the Suicune at the very least, as he is going to withdraw. Yep. Easy. Goes into Chaos Neos. Who's that? That is the... Okay, that's the Magirna. Okay. Interesting. We're gonna get off some uh, decent damage. 20%. Hold on a second. Magirna versus Blastoise. Gamagori. Why did that do that much? Okay, so he's no bulk. He has zero bulk. If I just did like 19 to him. Um, so I'm going to go straight into Alphonse. Huh. Yeah, if I had Zen, Earthquake, and like something to hit the Absol, like a, a Hammer Arm or something, alongside Agility, I would still be able to win this game. But I don't. So I'm going to go straight into my Metagross. On the Magirna, I'm going to try to to work this thing back. He goes for Calm Mind. Okay, we know that plus one Z Shadow Ball can't knock me out through my Cassid Berry. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the uh, for the Earthquake on this turn. And hopefully he dies to Earthquake plus Bullet Punch. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a Z move at this point. So I'm just going to go for EQ. He's probably... Uh, yeah, he's no bulk though. We know he's no bulk. He's probably faster than me as well. Uh, no, he's not. Wow, okay. Alphonse, how much are you going to do with, with this? Uh, that is going to do a very good chunk as he is going to go for the Shadow Ball, and I'm going to eat up my Cassid Berry. And uh, that is going to prevent me from dying. So we kept the Magirna from getting a kill, unless he switches it out, of course. Um, does he get the Spit F drop? No, cool. Um, Earthquake is safe. Earthquake is safe. We'll just go for it. And uh, he doesn't have a Speed Boost or anything. He didn't go for Trick Room. He doesn't have a Shift Gear up, so... I think uh, we get off some clean damage here. I swear if he goes into Absol and I crit him, <laughs> that is going to be incredible. I, I still can't believe he scalded on that turn I went into Infernape. 
Because if Hyatt stayed in and gone for the Thunderbolt, I could have 2 KO'd him. He's actually going to preserve his Magirna, and he's going to go out into Poison Rose. That is the, uh, the Roserade, and I'm going to get off another Earthquake here. And he might be in Bullet Punch range after this. I don't know why he's switching around so much. Just, like, let something take the damage. Uh, that might be enough to kill Roserade with Bullet. Hold on. Roserade. Default set. Bullet Punch. Uh, Earthquake just did how much? 60, that's 25, uh, 30, 35, that we just did 65 to him, so he has like a little bit of bulk, um, and bullet punch should do 37 to 44, and he's at 35, so I should be able to kill him, let's go for it, let's go for PP, let's try to get another kill, come on, kill the poison rose, and that is going to knock it out. Awesome. Okay, so Roserade goes down. So it's it's not looking that bad for Differential. We're, we're not horrible right now. <laughs> we're still doing okay. Um, Absol? Darmanitan? Which one? Which one comes in? Yeah, my Metagross is really, really slow. Has 91. Yeah, Malice Fiend. That's the Absol. <clears throat> yeah. Malicious Fiend. Um... So I can go into Stoys. How much does how much does Absol do to me without an item? Uh, if I don't have my Casted Berry anymore, 63 to 74, uh, 86. Yeah, no, I'm lower than that. Um, it's probably just gonna sucker anyway. If he knocks off my Eviolite, then that's bad because I still need that. So what do I sack? Do I sack this? Knowing that my Blastoise is faster than Magirna, I can knock it out with a Scald from where it is. And I think I can take any... Actually, wait a minute. Blastoise can still win. It depends on what he has on his Darmanitan, but I think Blastoise can still win. I'm going to Bullet Punch here. Hold up. If, if I make this comeback... We get off bullet punch damage on the uh, Absol, which is very nice. That's going to do a clean uh, 35, 40, 40. He's special. Does he have focus? Does, does this thing even get focus blast? Hold on a second. Does he have anything for my pillow swine? He probably has Thunderbolt for my uh, Blastoise. I'm just going to get Metagross off of here. Where is Metagross? Metagross, Metagross, Metagross. Where are you? There you are. Um, Absol, what do you get in terms of fighting coverage? You do not get Focus Blast. Do you, you don't get any water, you don't get any grass. Uh, I'm Thick Fat for Fire Blast. Okay, so Blastoise is obviously burned, right? But all I need to kill is this Absol. That's the only thing I need to kill, is this thing right here. If he switches out, whatever he goes into, dies to Earthquake. Everything should die. So I'm going to go for EQ. It should kill Absol from here as well, based on the Bullet Punch damage, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, Metagross Bullet Punch 40 to 47, so he has some bulk. Um, and Pillow Swine does... Hold on. Pillow... Hello. Pillow Swine to Shiro. Don't flinch me, Dan. This does 72. Nice, okay. So we killed the Absol. So the only thing that was potentially faster than my Blastoise just died. So I think he wants to go into Suicune for free, is what he's trying to accomplish here. Bubble Man, yeah. He goes into Suicune for free. I'm gonna... Uh, no, Stoise is still here. What am I doing? <laughs> Absol, get off the layout, please. Where are you? Mega Absol. Okay, so I have to Earthquake no matter what. Um, and hope, beyond hopes, that he doesn't hit Calm Mines. And I flinch him. So yeah, I'm gonna EQ. He should rest, in theory. He shouldn't Scald me here. Because if he doesn't burn me, he loses his Suicune and he might just outright lose the game to my Blastoise. He goes, what? what? Dan, what are you doing? Bro, I can kill you from here. 
Are you insane? We kill. I just got out of my chair. Bro. Oh my god. Dan, what are you doing? Why are you calm minding? Does Dorm kill me? I have thick fat. 53 to 63 from Jolly Sheer Force Scarf. So I think I should just Ice Shard, right? I'm faster than Magirna with Blastoise. We saw that, right? Uh, we Yeah, because because Metagross was faster at 91 speed. And Blastoise is 111. I don't need this anymore because it'll die to Magirna anyway. What could he lock himself into? Earthquake? No. I think if he locks himself into Flare Blitz, he loses to Blastoise regardless. So yeah, I EQ here. I don't even bother Ice Sharding, because I can kill him with Scald. There's the there's the Blitz. How much does it do? It kills me? Okay. He takes the recoil. Maybe he's banking on two rounds of burn, but he's only going to get one. Oh my god. Hold on. My set is bold. If he is locked into Flare Blitz, he does a max of 32.4% of to me. If he switches out and lets Magirna die, and comes back in with something like a superpower, that still only does 34% max. No freaking way. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I just bring this back? Did I just bring this back? Come on, Dan, make a play. He's probably locked in. This is probably a Scarfer. He needed something faster than some of my team members. Oh my god. <laughs> no freaking way. Dan, I'm messaging him. I, he just messaged me. He's like, God, that choke forgot about EQ. LMAO. Dan! No, dude. No. You can't let me go undefeated like this. This is my worst matchup. Click Scald. It knocks out the Magirna, right? Right, I'm not insane. The Dark Pulse did 20. <laughs> Scald is stab and it's not resisted. <laughs> oh my god. Kamigori! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> no way, dude. We are 5 and 0 plus 16. Dude. This was way more hype than my match against Jolt. Oh my god. Came down to my Mega versus his Mon that should be banned. Oh. Kamigori pulled through. Oh. Why didn't... He's, he's like, God, what a choke should have rested, forgot about EQ. Yes, you should have rested. What? And now we get a communication error at the end of the game. My battle video is already saved. It's all good. Wow, guys, what a game. Sorry for yelling in your ears, but that was incredible. It was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but holy sh... Mm! I'm not going to swear. <laughs> what, what a game. Dan, GG, dude. Sorry about you not clicking rest. I'm re I really am, but like, I can't believe that I was able to pull that back with just three Pokemon. Metagross, Pillaswine, Mega Blastoise, MVP, 100%. Alphonse, Toshiro, and Gamagori pulled it through against Magirna. Chaos Neos, I think its name was. 
what what a game honestly guys make sure to go check out dan in the description down below go check out his side other than this game he makes amazing content uh he's one of the people that really helped me get into the gba to begin with as an analyst last season he made my application video possible by uh, battling me online we hardly knew each other at that point and he he He's been such a huge help to me, so please, guys, go and check him out in the description down below. If you're excited, though, that we won that and that we are 5-0, and oh, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Comment your favorite part of the match. Do whatever you want in the comment section. Spam me with your Iron Tail Miss crap. I don't care what you do. I am 5-0 and oh, plus 16. Your Montreal Habsols are still undefeated. If you did enjoy, once again, like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.